So if you imagine like your opponent's like, you know, you're facing the opponent kind of sideways, right? So the stick's pointing at the back guy. <coughs> to start out, the front hand is palm up, and then the back hand is palm down. And you push the back end down and let it spin one or one half rotation. So, and then grab with max, like both palm down, max grip, then unmatched grip, and then you change sides. So you're unmatched, matched, unmatched, and switch. Match, unmatched, turn. Match, unmatched, turn. So it looks fancy, but there's actually a tactical reason for it. So like, yeah, you're here. I'll try to hold that where you can kind of see. Here. Then this hand, forehand, let's go. And it's like a baseball back grip. And then you turn it. Yeah. And then you push down, yeah. And it's like motorcycle grip, and then baseball grip, and then turn it. Practice that a little bit. It's like it, the stick can confuse you. <laughs> so you try to keep your hands kind of in the center of it. So you have one that pushes down. You grab both, and then the forehand lets go. So they can now grab under, and then you switch with, yeah. And then it keeps going. Almost. So one thing is, you never cross your wrist. So I never like reach over, or reach under. It's always, hands are always separated. This. Okay. So the front of the stick is guarding. Okay. So I'm not like opening up to the right. side and then opening up. Yeah. Just think it's weird. So you keep the front plane kind of like a, a wedge. Okay. So you've always got something between you and the opponent. Okay. And change directions. So you got facing different directions, right? Then now it comes an overhand stamp. Which is a little bit weird. And then you go back. But the stick doesn't stop. The reason you have the spinning is to read the opponent, right? So if I'm spinning, I'm kind of judging like his reaction to me kind of getting closer. Right? So based on what his reaction is, then I know kind of uh, you get a read for his for his uh, spirit. Right? So spinning. He's focused, but he is backing up, so he does realize that I have a long, possibly a superior weight because of the reach. If you know, we're here, we're faced off, and he doesn't, like, or he maybe he even encroaches some. No, oh, he's got strong spirit. That's the reason for the spin. <clears throat> and it keeps it confusing on when the strike's going to come. He's getting in close, so man, I need to back. But then this, you're trying to make a show of it, right? So he wants to block high, but you catch him low. But for practice, he still blocks low. And then at this point, you bleed the white away. One, two, three.